Hey, so today's Sunday and I am prepping for another week. It's going to be a crazy week for us. We are super busy um, with work this week and also we are refinancing on our house. So we have an appointment this week for that. So I wanted to make this week as simple as I possibly could, which means crockpot meals. So um, I've planned three crockpot meals for the week. You see it's snowing behind me. This is just not right. It's way too early to snow, but we're getting some snow flurries. So let me show you um, what we're gonna have for the week. I'm gonna begin prepping it so that everything is just ready to go to throw in the crock pot um, on the days that I make it. So here's what we're having. So you can see this week is going to be pretty easy. For dinner, um, you can see we've got three main meals planned for the week. All will be in the crock pot. The first one is going to be a crock pot ground beef stew. Um, which I've made before but haven't had in a really long time. Um, Tuesday we're going to make some crock pot chicken and gnocchi soup with garlic bread. Wednesday will be crock pot lemon chicken and then I'll make some green beans. And then Thursday through Sunday I am really not going to be cooking. I'm going to begin by cutting up some celery, some onion, and some carrot for Tuesday's chicken and gnocchi soup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some carrots and green beans for my crock pot uh, ground beef stew for tomorrow. I also need some potatoes for this recipe, but I wasn't quite sure how they would hold up if I cut them up today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow as I begin prepping for the meal. Today's meal is going to be a crock pot ground beef stew. I prepped a lot of this on yesterday, chopped up my carrots and my green beans. So pretty well uh, set to go for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some mini potatoes for it. Get those in the crock pot and add the rest of the ingredients, including tomato soup and some beef broth. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So right around this point, I realized my camera wasn't recording. So I had already browned my ground beef and some onion. And then in the bowl there, I had gone ahead and put some beef broth, some tomato soup, some garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, some salt. And you'll see here after I add this, I realize, oh wait, I didn't film. So I'm showing you I put the garlic powder in already. I already put the pepper in along with the salt. And again, I'll show you that I had beef broth in there and tomato soup. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna add some onion powder and I'm gonna whisk all this up and I'm gonna put it in the crock pot with the beef and the veggies.
I had added one can of tomato soup and one can of beef broth, and then after I mixed it in, it looked a little dry, so I went ahead and added a little bit more beef broth. And then to add a little bit more tomato flavor, I went ahead and added around two tablespoons of tomato paste. I let this cook for most of the day on low, just until the potatoes were tender along with the carrots. I gave it a good stir and now I'm going to add some peas. You can add frozen peas if you have them. I did not, so I just went ahead and added one can of peas and then I'm going to let this cook for probably another 45 minutes or an hour and it should be ready. Dinner is ready and it looks delicious. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in and I'll be back tomorrow with our chicken and gnocchi soup in the crock pot. Tonight's dinner is gonna be chicken and gnocchi soup in the crock pot. I prepped my veggies on Sunday, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in the crock pot along with my chicken and the other ingredients and I'm gonna let that cook all afternoon. And then I'll check on it when I'm done working and we'll add the final ingredients. I went ahead and sprayed my crock pot and now I'm adding some carrots, onion, and celery that I prepped on Sunday along with my chicken breasts that I thawed uh, overnight. These chicken breasts were pretty big so it's about a pound of chicken. I only used these two breasts. Then I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, some minced garlic, some garlic powder, some onion powder along with some Italian seasoning and I'm going to add four cups of chicken broth and I'm going to let this cook all afternoon on low. At this point my chicken was done cooking so I'm going to go ahead and shred up the chicken and then I'm going to add in some evaporated milk and cornstarch. I'll just whisk those together before I add them along with my gnocchi and then I'm going to let this cook on high for another hour. After an hour, I just went ahead and add some spinach that I had chopped up along with some Parmesan cheese. We really like to add some cheese because we find that it gives it a salty and nutty flavor and it's delicious. After you add the spinach and cheese, you really can serve this within a couple of minutes. You just want to let the cheese melt. We weren't quite ready for dinner, so I let it cook for another 45 minutes or so, and then I went ahead and served it up. So here's what dinner looks like tonight. Looks delicious. We did have some French bread uh, yesterday that we intended to use tonight for garlic bread, but my husband ate it. So instead, we just took some low carb bread, 
put some garlic and butter on it and mozzarella cheese and I put it in the air fryer for, for right around four minutes. Tonight's dinner is going to be lemon crock pot and the chicken. No. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna have some lemon chicken that I'm gonna prepare in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my ingredients in there, let it cook all afternoon, and then I'll check on it a little bit later. This recipe is really easy. I just went ahead and added about a pound of chicken breast to my crock pot. Um, after I sprayed it, I added some Italian dressing seasoning. And then in a bowl, I whisked together about a half a cup of chicken stock and a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I put some minced garlic in there as well. Added that to the crock pot. And then I cooked this on low for about three, three and a half hours until my chicken was done. Again, my crock pot tends to cook pretty fast. So you may need to leave it in a little bit longer depending on your crock pot. So on a separate note, I know this isn't related to my recipe, but just wanted to share with you, I already started my Christmas decorations. Yes, it's the beginning of November, but I'm already putting up my Christmas decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what I've done so far. I know it's a little early to start decorating for Christmas, but this year, I think of all years, we could all use some extra Christmas spirit. So I wanted to get started early and enjoy it for as long as I can. My chicken is just about done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of the crock pot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put some of this. It's just some quinoa and brown rice. I haven't tried this before, but I got this at Costco. It comes in the packet. And I just put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. So easy side dish. I'm gonna go ahead, cook this now, see how it turns out. And I'm gonna steam a couple of green beans and that's what's gonna be dinner. My chicken was cooked through at this point. So I went ahead and removed it from the crock pot so that I could thicken my sauce. So the recipe calls for some heavy cream. I think it's two tablespoons. I decided I wanted my sauce to be a little bit thicker. So I went ahead and I put about two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in a bowl, added some cornstarch to it, mixed that up, put it back in the crock pot, whisked it in, and then I added my chicken back in, and I let that cook for another probably 15, 20 minutes just so the sauce could thicken. And that's what dinner looks like tonight. Uh, my husband is not home, so it's just gonna be me. So I, I lit a candle. I guess it's somewhat romantic, just me and the dogs. So excited to dig in and hopefully you'll like this recipe. I just finished cleaning up from dinner and now I'm finally sitting down to relax for the night, but I will highly, highly recommend that crock pot lemon chicken recipe to you. It was really delicious. It was light and refreshing, yet it was filling. And that brown rice and quinoa blend from Costco was really great and I will definitely be making that again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the recipes for this week and I'll be back soon with some new recipes. Bye!